Okay, today I'm going to talk about how to use resistance bands in your karate training. A lot of this was worked out by my friend uh, Luis Miguel Ocampo, and uh, these are great ideas for training just in general. These are uh, resistance bands that they use in uh, exercise classes, I guess. Uh, if you can't get resistance bands, you can use inner tubes from uh, bicycles. So go down to your local bicycle shop and ask them for the inner tubes that they're going to throw away. And you get skinny ones, thicker ones, and, and they're kind of stretchy also. So uh, I'm going to loop this around out of this post. I'm going to start out using this for kicking. I'm going to make a loop in this end. This way. Put my foot through it. And kind of pull it tight on my ankle. Uh, I would start out with a little slack so you kind of get used to the idea. Try to keep good form. Just do a nice, easy front slack kick over the front and come back. So you're getting a good, solid kick. All the way through. Kind of cool. One small adjustment here. I'm going to take one of these straps, put it on the bottom of my foot, uh, so that I can back thrust with it. So again, I start here, twist and thrust, and then come back, twist and thrust. Okay. Uh, next, for help in punching, I'll just do two exercises. There are many others. Let's say I'm going to put this around my right shoulder. And I'm going to turn, so it wraps around my body. And I'm going to do a time punch. And I'm also going to practice the jab. So this is great for people who have difficulty figuring out how to incorporate their legs or how to get their hip to spin freely. Jab, punch, jab. Punch. Down. You can switch your feet. Now your jab has the resistance. And of course you can do the other side. That's all for today. I hope you enjoy these ideas.